Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick Bible study on Matthew 5, 48. It says, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven is perfect. So when I first read this, I was like, how can we be perfect? And we're not perfect ourselves. How can, how can this happen? So it's always good to dive deep into the word of God so we can be able to understand what it means and not just go in our flesh and try to guess what it means and just, just go to the left. So let's dig deep in first. Let's go to what the word perfect means so when we look into the word perfect i love the second one i'll read the first one the first one says having all required or desirable elements qualities or characteristics as good as it is possible so, as good as it could be possibly be right i like the one for characteristics because god wants us to mirror him he says let's make man into our image right father son and the holy spirit saying like let's make them who how we are right and then I like the second, I love the second one actually, because the second one is saying, be basically saying absolute or complete, right? I like complete because in the Greek, that's the definition of what perfect means is complete. So I love that because if we are made in his, he wants us to be made into his image. He wants us to mirror him. Then we need to, he, when we are in him, meaning we accept Jesus as our Lord and savior, not just our savior, but our Lord over our lives. Meaning we give out, we surrender our lives to him. And we always make sure when you allow Jesus to be your, your Lord, you are accepting his will for your life. So when we do that, then he can begin to complete us. And I want to go further with the scripture to back this up. All right. So if we can read here in James 1, 4, and King, which is the King James Version, which it says, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing. So I love this. And this can be um, broken down in different, total different ways. But I really wanted to emphasize on the word perfect. Um, but here it says, let patience have a perfect work. Just to let you guys know, if you are willing to wait on God, he will perfect you and you won't want nothing. You are going to be full. But I wanted to break down patience. So, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect in time wanting nothing. So number one, if we wait on the Lord, he's going to perfect us. But num the number two, he's saying that ye may be perfect in time wanting nothing. So if we are complete in God then we don't need nothing. We, it says want, okay? You know we want a lot. We have a desires of our heart and God is willing to give us a desires of our heart, but we have to be in him and we have to be going according to his will. So I think if we understand that, then we can understand what God is truly. Mean. So what we need to understand is God wants us, once we are born again and we, um, we allow Jesus to become our Lord and Savior, then God is willing to perfect us. He's willing to complete us until the day that he comes back. He's going to complete us. We won't have to want anything. Why? Because he's the one that fulfills us. When um, when we're on this earth, so we're on, the main thing we have to do is give, his, give, him, give him our mind, body, and souls. That's our will. We got to give up our will for him. We got to be willing to say, not my will, but thy will be done. Our minds, we have to be able to keep our minds stayed on him. Because um, he said, I will give you perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. So if we keep our minds on him, he gives us peace. If, he give us, uh, if, if we give him our will, he will direct us and give us wisdom in the right way we should go. And he will give us, he will give us the righteous way to go because he is righteous, he is holy, and he is perfect. So when we decide to give God our mind, body, and souls and love him with all our mind, body, and souls and give and allow Jesus Christ to be our Lord, then he will perfect us. And he will say we are perfect. So it's not us walking around saying, I'm perfect because, listen, it's we should not boast about anything but besides Jesus Christ being our Lord and Savior so other people can be saved. But Christ is perfecting us and we want, we will lack nothing. That means we could want something and he's come like, I already knew what you wanted. So here you go. But we have to be, we have to live according to his will. And the main thing a lot of people need to understand, you have to be willing to obey. So God is going to develop us. He's going to mold us until the day he comes. It's so much perfection. So he's the one that perfects us. 
at the end of the day. So I hope this blesses you. I hope this helps you understand God's word because that's all we need to do is be able to learn God's word so we can give it out because we are to go into all the world and preach the gospel. But let's learn together. Y'all be blessed.